Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? It's your girl, Danielle Jeffers, founder of Doe for Degrees LLC. Doe for Degrees is a scholarship coaching company where we teach students how to earn scholarships to go to college and graduate debt free. As you know, we're in the Community Foundation Series, local Community Foundation slash local scholarships. I'm teaching you how to find them, how to win them, how to make sure you get your scholarship earnings up so that you can graduate with little to no debt. If you're not familiar with me or who I am, I graduated debt-free from Virginia Tech on May 17th of 2019, having earned more than $200,000 in scholarships. And in this video, we're dissecting one of the community foundations I applied to and actually received their top award as a high school senior. And it was a renewable scholarship. So I received this award every single semester I was in college. Stay tuned. What's going on, beautiful people? I feel like we haven't had one of these sessions in a while. I've been missing y'all. I know I upload three videos a week, but I've been, you all know I've been engaged in the CSM professorship. I taught at the College of Southern Maryland. I taught a class college without student loans. And it's amazing. Today is February 8th. I'm actually recording this on February 8th. And I taught the second class, which is the last class of this um, semester. I taught that this morning. So it was amazing. When I recap it tomorrow, February 9th, at, on the community scholarship chat at 3 o'clock p.m., I'll definitely let you know how my experience was. And I'll probably shoot a recap video just to sum it all up in one piece. But today we're talking about the Community Foundation Scholarship. Now, the Community Foundation Scholarship we're going to look at is a community foundation of, da of the Dan River region. Once again, the Community Foundation of the Dan River region. I am from Danville, Virginia. So this scholarship is available to students who are from the Danville region area. The Danville regional area, um, the Dan River region, many people know about many names, but if you live in that area or the surrounding areas, if you live in that city or the surrounding areas, this is a scholarship you wanna apply for. So what I'm gonna do, y'all know I usually record a single angle here and I have my iPhone recording a second angle. I'm going to pull it up on my iPad um, and then I'll go back and add some screenshots and stuff like that. But what I simply do to find this scholarship, to find this community foundation, is I go to Google, go to Google, and I Google Community Foundation Danville, Virginia. So I'm doing that now. And the website pops up. I go to the website. Once you go to the website, you want to navigate directly to the scholarships tab. And so give me one second to pull that up. My iPad was trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Now, the interesting, interesting thing about community foundations is they give back to communities. If you haven't watched that video in this series, what is a community foundation, go watch that video because it explains exactly how community foundations function within a particular community or a particular area. So on the website, they have the first page, once you click scholarships on the home page of the website, it talks about what type of scholarships they're offering. So let me break it down to you on the board. Here we go. So, the scholarship application for this community foundation is due February 28, 2020. February 8, 2020. They administer 53 separate scholarship funds. Now, hear me out. They said separate scholarship funds. So, someone could um, create an endowment through this community foundation, and they say they're going to give away five scholarships every single year. That is one fund. That's one scholarship fund that has multiple scholarship awards. So just because they say they give away 53 separate scholarship funds doesn't mean they only give away 53 scholarships. So it's important to note, the scholarship endowments total $5 million to date, as of today, February 8th, 2020. According to the website, it totals $5 million to date. The application window for this scholarship um, application for the Community Foundation of the Dan River Region is from January 1st to February 28th, 2020. If you go on their website, and like I talked about on the home page, and you click the scholarships tab, right under the information about the deadline and stuff, it has um, frequently asked questions, FAQs. They give you in information about this scholarship and some of the questions many people ask, like how do, how do I apply? What is the timeline? Who is eligible to apply? So to answer that question, who is eligible to apply? Students who are graduating seniors, or former graduates from a high school in Danville 
or Pennsylvania County, Virginia, or Caswell County, North Carolina may apply. Each scholarship also has specific eligibility criteria that were defined by the donor. The online application system will determine your eligibility for each scholarship. Okay, um, that's important to note because if you're not from those areas, you can't apply for this scholarship. But that doesn't mean there isn't a community foundation in your area. You just want to do your research, Google, go to Google, type in community foundation and type in the name of your hometown. Um, if you're a high school student, type in the name of your hometown. If you're a college student, you can take two approaches. Type in the name of your hometown and the name of the city state your college is located in, okay? And at the end of this video, in the description box, I'm going to drop the link to the community foundation um, in Blacksburg, Virginia, where I actually applied when I was in college because I went to Virginia Tech. Now note that this application is due by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's also important to note there's a time deadline as well as an actual date deadline, a day deadline. All right, so that's a part of the FAQs. Now awards vary. The award amounts you could receive for the scholarship, they vary. And you will be notified by the middle of May according to their website on the Frequently Asked Questions tab. Now actually, let's actually take a look at the scholarship requirements and how this scholarship functions because every scholarship is different. So let me log into my account on the Community Foundation and I'll walk you all through it. Just give me one second. All right, so I'm logged in. Now, community foundations typically ask you to first submit a general application. This general application will require various things. M many times it requires these typical things, um, but every scholarship is different, so you definitely want to do your own research. Now, let's look at it here. The general application has various questions. As you can see, it's asking me, have I previously received a scholarship from the community foundation? If I answered yes to the above question, what scholarship did I previously received? Um, what type, what type of student am I? Am I a high school senior, a college freshman, what have you? A bunch of different questions, generic questions or general questions rather about my name, my email address, my street address, my zip code, date of birth, gender, my race, um, my marital status, all these things about my parents' occupation, their employment. These are typical scholarship questions. So the first thing is various questions. They're gonna ask you various questions about your academic background, your family background, um, your income, all these different things. Now, as you can see, this scholarship asks for a copy of your official high school or college transcript. The PDF format must be signed by a guidance counselor or a registrar. They're not asking for an unofficial copy of your transcript. They want an official copy of your transcript. And so you can also, once you're at the general application, if you scroll back up to the top, the second tab says frequently asked questions, and the first topic is about transcripts. So it tells you exactly what they're looking for um, when they ask for your transcript. All right, so that's something you wanna to refer to as well. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about, it keeps asking you various questions about your college education. Ask for two letters of recommendation. One letter of recommendation has to come from a non-relative who will provide a letter of recommendation on your behalf. Now, the interesting thing about this scholarship is you're not going to upload the letter of recommendation that they wrote they're going to upload it. So you have to add a new reference, add an email address into the system so they can email that person and ask them to submit the letter of recommendation. It is February 8th. Technically, you have 20 days left to apply for this scholarship. One of the first things you wanna do is pick, identify the people who are gonna write these letter of recommendations for you and send it to them now. Send this to them now and give them a heads up on what's coming. And in the next video, not the next video for this series, but a couple videos from now, I'm gonna teach you exactly what you should have in the letter of recommendation. In the meantime, drop a comment if you have any questions. Check out the website. Um, you can contact me if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Now the second letter of recommendation has to come from a school official. So a teacher, an administrator, a coach, who is a school official. Not your best friend, not your mama, not your daddy, but an actual school official. All right, and last but not least, an essay. With a 1,500 word max, you have to write an essay. Submit an essay that describes your educational goals, special circumstances, and your scholarship qualifications. You may include any information that will be helpful to the selection committee. Now, that's gonna be the next video of this series. I'm gonna teach you how to write an essay. This is very similar to what is known as a personal statement. And so I'm gonna break this down to you. If you are not applying for this scholarship, it's still important that you watch that next video 
because it's going to help you as a as you apply for more scholarships all right and so that's the general application once you submit the general application it will filter your information and identify the best scholarships you should apply for based on the 53 separate scholarship funds they have all right and then each scholarship as i stated before may have additional requirements you might have to write another essay or you might have to answer a couple more questions for those particular scholarships so i want you to make sure you're paying attention you're doing your best and you're focused as always drop a comment if you have a question let me know we are working on the community foundations and local scholarships right now because this season is going to open and close soon it opened in january the best time to apply for community foundation scholarships or local scholarships from january till about march april okay and if you're a high school senior right now i would not spend a lot of time focusing on national scholarships i would spend a lot of time focusing on scholarships in your hometown because traditionally once you progress from this period of your life after you graduate from high school the scholarships your guidance counselor was telling you about um the ones that were in your hometown are no longer you're no longer eligible to apply for them because they're asking you to be a resident of the city or um to go to a particular high school so just focus on those right now i did it and trust me it paid off i applied for more than 30 scholarships in five months as a high school senior in danville virginia and won 14 of them totaling more than a hundred thousand dollars 75 percent of my earnings for local scholarships and I did that from January to May of 2015. So hey, now's the perfect time to put in work. I'm here to help you. Stay tuned, more information is coming soon. I love y'all. See you soon.